All right, we've got a new song here from The Warning premiering right now, Automatic Sun. Let's do this. Right W-A-V-E. Right W-A-V-E. Right W-A-V-E. Break it down. Oh, they're captions. Esta canción se llama Automatic Sun. guitar tone so thick it's like that zvex style uh velcro fuzz that i was i heard for the first time from matt bellamy uh but and then she was also doing those behind the nut like screechy you know the little short strings behind the nut you hit those another thing i've seen matt bellamy like it's so cool to see that influence translating into this new original warning music that's so their own sound, so their own thing. But I also seeing that influence there. It's so exciting for me as a longtime Muse fan and now a, a newish Warning fan. I guess not that new anymore. But oh my gosh, this song has such a great sound to it. And the drums, the like uh, swingy, bouncy feel the drums have. Okay. Okay, holy crap, I gotta hear that note again. But she's playing a strat. Is that one of those strats with the Zvex fuzz built in? The fuzz factory?
Holy crap, dude. That outro. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Okay. I want to see how long the video goes. <sighs> Bro. That was so ridiculous. <laughs> that outro. I got to hear that again. Okay. So, I, I'm pretty tired. I have a four-month-old, and I haven't been sleeping well, and it's really late. It's 11 o'clock, which is like two hours past my bedtime now. Uh, so, I'm so tired, but holy crap, I'm so glad I stayed up. This was so worth it. Uh, such a catchy, fun chorus. Right away, it's stuck in my head. I know I'll be singing along with it. It's going to be stuck in my head tonight when I'm trying to fall asleep. I guarantee it. Such a well-written chorus. Perfectly displays Danny's vo voice. The bridge with the solo bass and kick drum. First of all, the mix on the kick drum. So tight, crisp, beefy. It's got like the perfect balance of punch and, um, you know, bottom end and high end that come together perfectly to make a great kick. And then that fuzzy bass creating a nice dynamic in that bridge, just a little soft valley before that last chorus comes in and just, you know, the tones that they create in the song with that fuzzy Velcro-y fuzz that she's using and combined with the punchy drums again. The drums on these last few songs have been so well mixed. Like, they just punch so hard and created a really nice dynamic there towards the end of the song. And then that riff they played at the end that had like that drop, you know, where the it starts on one note, but then it slides down almost like something that kind of got popular with dubstep and then guitarists. Like Matt Bellamy started emulating that. I think he did some of that on like the second Law album. And now bringing it to this. I got to hear that outro again. Why won't it? Okay. Oh. That chord at the end. What in the world? Some dissonance. The drum fills. Yeah. Dude, that slaps so hard. <laughs> uh, how exciting. Dude, Keep Me Fed is going to be such a dope album. Uh, I don't know what people were talking about. I was seeing comments that this song's like overproduced and t too many layers. It's the guitar tone, dude. It's the pedals she's using, the combination of pedals. It's so perfectly dialed in. As far as I hear, there's only three tracks. It's just really interestingly, you know, affected with pedals and mixing and everything to give it this huge, massive sound. Maybe there was some doubling to get a nice stereo image, but, you know, it's three tracks. It's the power trio that we know and love. They're just experimenting with new pedals and sounds that make them sound even bigger, which I think is awesome. That's why I fell in love with Muse, because they experimented with sounds like that, and now that's why I love the warning. It's because they just keep pushing the boundaries, whether it's a writing aspect, like Queen of the Murder Scene, where they're experimenting with storytelling, or whether it's experimenting with changing up their sounds, they're always evolving, no pun intended, and it's just so cool to see that they're doing such cool stuff, you know? It's just, it's the perfect package, because it's sisters, they'll probably never break up because they're family, hopefully, <laughs> so we should have some great rock and roll for years to come, and I'm so excited to see them play live again. I don't know when I'll be able to, but... Hopefully, again in the future soon. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for joining me on this reaction. I'm so glad I stayed up late. I got to go to bed now. So <laughs> thank you. And I hope you have a good night. Oh, by the way, I'll be reviewing this tomorrow on my regular Friday live stream. That's at 1 p.m. Central Time. And I'll be diving into this in more depth. This is just my reaction. So thanks for joining me. Maybe see you tomorrow. You can sub if you want to, if you don't, nobody will. And you can act real cool and nothing like a fool, and I can act like an imbecile.